John and I could not be prouder of the work you guys do. It's one of the worst situations to be where you are in terms of dealing with the people you deal with. But now with COVID, everything else that's happened, one of the things that really impressed John and I both was the, the broad diversity uh, of personality and characteristics uh, that it must take to be a successful corrections officer. Yeah, I can only imagine what they're like when they're coming in and they're just fighting it, you know. And But they have to just be, they have to take it. We know it's not for the high pay and the luxury living that you do what you do. And so we, we very much appreciate that and appreciate you. Not as tough as tough and, and no more so than in here. That's right. That's right. <laughs>And we're excited to come to you live, and you're going to hear from our story. That's right. I've really learned a lot about corrections officers and what they do that I never even thought about, and it's brought a new light. I'm going to be praying for you guys because i got a new respect for you. And I hope to see John more in his suicide suit because I think it's a look that uh, <laughs> they could really work for this guy. So uh, we, we do appreciate you guys, and, uh, and we're going to tell you now uh, some of our story and, and how – Duck Commander came to be in Duck Dynasty and how John and I are best friends and having an opportunity to encourage you guys.